Hi, beautiful Sagittarius. I feel led to do you a little bonus read. I want to get confessions from this person who keeps pulling on your energy. Now, I've been told by Spirit to do this bonus reading for you. What does this person want to say to the beautiful Sagis? They need time. They don't know how to love themselves. You truly were the best thing in their life, Sag. They were raised to not show their emotions. I never met anyone like you. I don't want to give up, but I think I should so you can be happy. Believe, then they go, it ain't over yet. I see you in everyone. Sag, they're not ready to be with you, but you're the only person that makes them feel alive. They're focusing on work. They're trying to forget you. They believe that true love didn't exist, Sag. They don't want to disturb your life. But yet, they wish they could start over with you. They want a family with you one day. If loving you is wrong, then I don't ever want to be right. They were afraid because they got other things going on in their life right now, but they can't let you go. They know that they're damaged and they feel guilty. I know now that I need you in my life. They feel damaged, they feel guilty. They were projecting their fears onto you. They just feel like they keep going in circles. That's because they are. They were keeping you a secret. Because they were taking a step back to figure out what they wanted. Then they know they need you in their life. They can't love anyone else anymore. They know they're going to have to fight for this love. And they feel like they, they tried to forget you. They figured that they couldn't give you what you needed. But they're saying, I understand you now. I'm finally facing the karma of my actions. And I am facing my shadows. Sagittarius bonus, please, spirit. What do you really want to let Sagittarius know? Thank you guys for your generosity. Thank you so much. So somebody needed to hear this message today. Because like I said, I was done my reads and Spirit's like, nope, you're not done. Saggy needs a bonus. Somebody out there really needs to hear these messages. Sagittarius. Because <laughs> you are the essence of femininity. You're a mixture of girlish charm and mature sensuality. You draw them in without even knowing. And this is not just... You're a starseed. What can I say? You're a traveling soul from another planet who incarnated on this earth to inspire and heal human beings and to participate in the planet's evolution. You can even communicate with the dead. It could be in the, for, uh, the form of inner um, sensing or seeing or hearing are all three gifts, Sagittarius. You're a starseed. You are a descendant. You came from a long line of healers herbalists, or wise folk. You, their ancient knowing resonates today deep in your spirit, and you will know yourself by knowing them. That's crucial. So get to know your descendants. Get to know who your descendants are. This has come out for you before. Clairvoyance, oh my God. You have the gift of, of receiving intuitive messages from spirit. And it may sound as if it's right next to you, inside your head or echoing from another dimension. Hmm. 
come from a long line of uh, healers, shamans, or you're, you're here for a specific reason. And I think that this person kind of is intimidated by you. Music has the ability to transport you to different realms by activating and igniting your body, making your magic rituals and he, your healing even more potent. Holy Sag! You're meant to be in the spotlight and be successful doing it. With a natural ability to draw a crowd and influence others by your charm and your talents. Sagittarius. Um, that's why spirit is giving you so many messages. Like you have so many descendants that have messages for you. And these are spiritual gifts. It's like many, 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 many gifts. Sag. You, you obviously are one of the chosen. You're obviously got a specific star seed reason for being here, and that is to heal others and the earth. And your descendants are telling you to get to know them more. They might communicate through you, Sag, or be beside you. You may hear it as an echo in your head or just sense it. Some of you can do all of these gifts. This is mediumship. This is psychic abilities. Clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient. Some of you possess all of these gifts. Communicators. Hmm. That's why this person took a pause here. Figured that they're scared to tell you the truth. They have nightmares how they treated you. They have fear and anxiety and nightmares about how they treated you, Sagittarius. They figured they made the decision to end it or to let you go. Because they didn't know how to love themselves. They didn't know how to express themselves. They know that you were fair. They know that you were honest. They know that you were truthful. Sincere. Hmm. They ran, Sagittarius. They ran. From their own feelings, their own emotions. They weren't raised to express their emotions. They felt like they couldn't give you what you needed. Because you needed emotion. You needed commitment. <laughs> Stability. You gave this person power and they felt intimidated by you, Sag, they did. They got some emotional baggage. They felt that they didn't want to bring you trouble. They're sorry. They're overwhelmed. They're getting their karma. They're facing their shadow. They regret how they treated you. They know that you weren't deserving of it. They know that you were worthy of commitment and marriage. And they should have protected you. They regret putting you in a competition. They were ignoring their feelings. They're getting the consequences of their actions. 
and they are finally reaping their karma for how they walked away from you. They're trying to focus in on their work to forget about you, but they can't. You were the best thing that ever happened to them in their life. You were an angel. <laughs> Truthful, honest, sincere. And they always think about you. Hmm. You were the best thing that ever happened to them in their life, Sagittarius. They feel like a fool. They're lost without you, Sagittarius. They know they betrayed you, their true love. They know it. They betrayed you and left you out in the cold. Hmm. Commitment, see? Responsibilities, child support, or... <sighs> Worrying what other people would say about them. Trying to look good to people in their community, look good to their kids, their family, whatever. They didn't think that true love was real. They kept their feelings and their emotions to themselves and they're not telling anybody how truly they're hurt. They still hold on to you. Hmm. They feel selfish. They're like, they're keeping their emotions to themselves and their true feelings of how they truly feel about you. They are receiving judgment. They're angry. They're pissed off. There's no two ways about it. You know, They know you're their soulmate. Hmm. So this person may, it's family. You were like the best thing that ever happened to this person. And they feel like they, they were manipulating you, Sagittarius. They're hurt, and there's they have not gotten over you, Sagittarius. Um, they hurt themselves when they hurt you, and they're they're getting their karma for what they did, putting other people as priority over you, whether that's third parties, whether whatever type of third party. There's no one like you, Sagittarius. Nothing compares to you. And they are getting their karma. I think that they were playing a mind game with you, Sagittarius. I do. They like the chaser runner thing and they're getting their karma for it. They understand you now. They didn't understand you, Sag. They're getting their karma for their actions, all right. They were projecting their fears onto you. 
They understand you now. They tried to forget you. They figured they couldn't give you what you needed. They knew that they would have to fight for this love because of family, because of travel, because of obstacles, because other people's uh, interference. They know they need you in their life, but they kept you a secret. They got other stuff going on in their life. They don't want to disturb you, but they want to start over. They can't let you go either. So this person is lost without you. you they're saying, uh, right person, wrong time here. They did not love themselves. They cannot love themselves for what they did to you, Sagittarius. How do you explain treating someone how they treated you? <clears throat> it's themselves they can't forgive. They're not telling anyone how much they're suffering without you. They honestly don't know what you see in them. You're still the only one that they want. And at the same time, they don't want to change their life. They are projecting their fears. They're wearing masks to protect themselves because they don't want to show their emotions. They don't want to be vulnerable, Sagittarius. And they know you are... Uh, Demand it, that you are requiring. It is a requirement for a healthy relationship. You have to be open. You have to be vulnerable. You got to let somebody in before they can love you. You know what I mean? They didn't believe in true love. Same old story. You don't know what it's gone until you don't have it. You know? And the thing is, they didn't want to change their life, but they are getting their karma. Spirit's going to do to, they ran, they ran, Sagittarius. They were sneaking around with another lover. They didn't believe true love existed. They, they maybe with someone else, but all they do is think of you. They settled. They're settling. So that ain't going to work out for them. Well... That's on them, Saji. Unforgettable. That's what you are.